done, my friend. Now, enter the Oubliette and set me free. There is still more to do to set me free. My body is imprisoned within a pillar of darkness, generated by the ebon shards to each side. Adjust the crystals until the beam of light destroy the ebon shards. Then the pillar of darkness will collapse, and I shall be free.
freedom at long last. My calculation suggested that you had a slightly better chance to fail rather than to succeed. I suspect, though, that you often beat the odds. Thank you. Agreed. Allow me to create a portal to Meridia's city. We can speak there. This portal leads to the Hollow City. We shall talk again. I have barely set foot within these hallowed walls, and I already feel a thousand times better. And now that you are here, we can determine our next move against the vile Molag Baal. I must take stock of our assets and resources, determine just how much might we can bring to bear. Only then can I develop a strategy that shall allow us to win this war. But forgive me, I wanted to convey that you performed admirably at the tower. It is good to be back in this ancient city. I need to assess our strengths and weaknesses, determine how best to make our assault against Molag Baal. If we strike before we build up a sufficient force, however, I fear we shall lose this war. The soldiers, the ones who call themselves the Fighters Guild, they seem strong and capable, at least at first glance. I shall speak to their leader at once. No leader? Well, that is an unacceptable situation. I shall take command of this fighter guild force. It is the only logical solution. Talk to those within this building. After I consult with the groundskeeper, I shall join you inside. The pieces begin to fall into place. With the king's aid, we shall assemble a force worthy of Meridia's blessing. Small groups have trickled in since your departure. The warriors inside seem to be under the protection of the Knight Darian, an exceptional fellow. Brave to a fault, and devoted to lost causes. Cadwell found them in the wilds. Your nagging is becoming more annoying than my persistent rash. We finally have a secure base. To go back outside without a plan is even too foolhardy for me. You want us to hide behind these walls? To leave our comrades to die while you sip wine and lounge about? You have no honor, Knight. Don't lecture me about honor, Elf. You have no idea what I've seen or what I've gone through.
My apologies for that display. The whole rash comment. Just a figure of speech, of course. So, I suppose you know more about this place than any of us. Like where I can get a decent drink? A <laughs> safe haven, eh? I didn't really expect to see cheerful flowers and clear water anywhere in this dark realm. I assumed we were walking into untimely and painful deaths. Glad to see I was wrong this one time. I couldn't let you go off and save the world all by yourself, could I? Not with just these fighters' guild braggarts. Besides, there was a portal. How could I not step through and see what was on the other side? That's a good question. I heard that Captain Alfari was killed shortly after we were scattered. I was hoping to find another officer here, but no such luck. An alien? I thought they were all, you know, dead. Of course, this is a Daedric Prince's plane. I really need to stop being surprised by such revelations. I have a feeling that won't be the strangest thing I find out before this is all over. Attend me, soldiers. We have a war to win, and time grows short. What in Ariel's name is this? Who are you? So that's the last alien, huh? I thought he'd be more... dusty. Isn't that what happens when elves get really, really old? Shut it, you fuck. Who's in charge of this group? Step forward and address me. Then allow me to rectify that. I shall lead you. We shall recover your comrades and complete your mission. If that does not work for you, your services are no longer needed. I don't know who you are, but you are the Fighters Guild. You have no authority over us. Do you challenge me, then? Do you want me to kill you to prove my combat prowess to your companions? I wouldn't necessarily mind seeing that. He is kind of annoying. How can you expect us to lay down our lives for someone we never met? Trust is earned on the battlefield. If you want to survive, if you want to win this, you must trust me. Allow me to explain why you need my leadership. We shall work this out. I understand your reservations. But with my leadership, the Fighters Guild will help us win this war. The pieces begin to fall into place. Small groups have trickled.
They've been captured. don't like your odds. I arrived with a few other wizards, Conjuration Masters. We helped open the portal to Cold Harbor. Unfortunately, we didn't arrive where we expected. A defensive countermeasure, I think. Molag Baal's forces were upon us in an instant. They were captured by Daedra, led by Judge Zivan. In the confusion, I managed to slip away. I've been scouting around in scamp form ever since. The mages are on trial inside the Hall of Judgment. I could hear Judge Zivan shouting at them. We must help them. A magical barrier shields the entryway to the Hall. It's powered by elemental crystals. We must destroy the crystals and collect a key to open the gate. You must hurry. Daedric justice can be swift. Collect the gate key from the coffer to the north, and destroy the three crystals to bring down the barrier. There's one crystal in each tower. Meet me near the Hall of Judgment's entrance when you're done. I'll continue scouting until then. What would you like to talk about?
your feet. Big family, you have to know how to scrap. I never saw that coming. was a bit of a warm up The trial is over. Judge Zivan found my companions guilty and sentenced them to death. They were taken to the cells below the hall while preparations are made for the execution. I'm working on a distraction to cover our escape. Did you find the key?
An excellent suggestion. There's no time to waste. Let's get inside and free the others. Oh, good. A guard. And I thought this was going to be boring. The guilty are drawn to us like torch marks are honey. Come and be judged, mortals. Excellent. Head down to the holding cells and free my companions. I'll guard our way out of here. You are no guard. Grab that key on the table and open these cages. Make them rue the day. Rue, I say. Ah, the fresh air of freedom. Thanks for opening that cage. Great rescue. Thank you. This one thought we were done for after Judge Zivin sentenced us to death. How do we get out of the Hall of Judgment? They're not going to let us simply walk out of here. Malkur? Well, why didn't you say so? Tarami wondered what happened to him. But this one has had enough of this place. Let's get out of here. They cast a shield spell on the gate. We're trapped. We'll deal with the gate. Just keep them away from us until we're done. You have been judged! You won't escape. Guilty! Guilty! I pronounce each and every one of you guilty as charged! Escapes my judgment. I think I'm getting good at this. Well, I probably shouldn't be proud of that. I'll execute you myself. Found wanting seven. Enough fun and games. Let's get out of here. The diversion I set up is working. Hurry before the Daedra notice and come after us.
allow them to run away. Well, no, I guess it wouldn't. Maybe they should try that. We fought well, didn't we? I think we might just have a chance at turning this disaster into a successful operation. We've opened a portal to the city. Feel free to use it if you want. We're in your debt. Without your help, the others would still be locked away, or worse. We'll get to safety and begin stabilizing the portals to Nern right away. All right. Let's head out. We've got portals to stabilize, you know.
for us. No. I'm agreeable. No.
The great and wondrous Vanus Galerion has a message for you. Greetings. This magical projection presents my current plan to my allies. Separated and alone, I decided to complete our mission, personally. I entered the Black Forge through a side door with the intention of destroying the Great Shackle beyond. In case it needs to be said, the Black Forge creates all of Molag Ball's vile weapons, including the Dark Anchors and the Great Shackle. With the Great Shackle destroyed, the threat of the Plane Meld should come to an end. No need to concern yourself. I'm sure I have this well in hand. I imagine I've already destroyed the Great Shackle, and even now we're celebrating our victory over the Lord of Brutality. Yes, I'm sure that's what has happened. there, please. I need your assistance. What a ridiculous question. I am the Great Mage's essence of health. The Daedra captured Vanus. They planned to use him to power the Great Shackle. To prevent this, Vanus divided his essence into three fragments. Vampires feed upon this essence and weaken it. Kill the vampires and collect the energy they siphon from me. Restore that energy to me, and I can easily break free of these flimsy bonds. When Vanus Galerion was captured, he cast a spell that divided him into his three essential essences. Health, Stamina, and Magicka. I am the Great Mage's health. Set each of these essences free, and we can make the Great Mage whole once more. While we are the essences of the Great Mage, we aren't the Great Mage himself. Not exactly. Separated the great while we are the the great while we are the great Turned. Yes. I can sense its reinvigorating presence. Give it back to me and I shall free myself. Follow my light to the slave. 